Well, greetings, Echo Casters. It is I, Echo Craft, once again. And as you can see on the screen next to me, we have a product called the Sunido Z1 Tempo Pad or MIDI Pad. Uh, just as a quick overview, I'm just going to uh, point out some really cool features. Um, it's great for musical performances. Uh, it has an impressive uh, uh, array of responsive pads. The, the pads are very sensitive and responsive. Uh, they have cool lighting effects. Uh, and um, it also has the ability to access four octaves at the same time uh, in the keys mode, which is very cool. So um, just to let you know that I'm going to be doing a demo of this, so I appreciate them sending one of these to me. I know the Synth Samurai also received one, uh, and he did a demo on it as well. Uh, I'm going to try to do a demo on it just using VSTs. I don't know, maybe I'll plug in uh, some uh, hardware to it, but we'll see what happens. So without further ado, let's get to the unboxing video, shall we? Whoa! Okay, here we go with the unboxing video. So again, the Synth Samurai got one of these as well. Um, and we were both told to uh, do a demo of it. And I think it's pronounced Sunido or Sinido or Sinido. I apologize. I'm not good at this stuff when it comes to pronunciations, but I'm going to do my best. So without further ado, here we go. I'm going to cut this open. This is a, it's called the Z1 Tempo Pad. And it's, um, let's see if I can get this. I can't, I can't get this. Let's, here we go. Cut it right down the middle, baby. All right. So let's see. I'm going to open this up. Oh, look at that. And we got a little, this little note there. So here it is. You get the box out of the way. So here it is. Um, and it's wrapped up really nice, actually. Some bubble wrap. So this is basically kind of like, I guess, like the Novation launch pad, which I did have one of those, but I only used it to control my, um, Jesus, this is really, <laughs> I'm horrible at opening things, guys, sorry. I used it to control my DAW with um, certain things uh, like looping and things like that. But, um, geez, this is tough. Let me get this off again. There we go. Throw that away. Oh, look at that. Nice purple box. Very nice. Here it is here. Temple Pad Z1 MIDI Controller. Sinido. Sai. Sinido, Sinido? I don't know, sorry. Um, but yeah, here, let's take a look at the back and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so y'all can see. So here it is and it's telling us, uh, I hope the glare is not hurting you guys, but uh, yeah, we've got lights and we've got, uh, we've got some uh, working modes. We've got easy mode, drum mode, key mode, user mode and custom modes, which is nice. And then we have uh, transport controls. And that's what I use the, um, the um, launch pad for, was basically uh, using it to control uh, my, my DAW, which is Logic Pro. Also has um, velocity curve adjustment, which is interesting. Uh, that would be this line on the top here, and I'll get to that in a second. Um, and it also has software. This is interesting. Um, official software support for audio editing and light drawing functions. Oh, interesting. All right. And then we have um, multiple connectors that come with it as well. Yep. So let's, uh, let's crack this baby open and take a look at it. So again, it, it reminds me, this reminds me of like a, a game, 
like a game, a, a board game box. That's what this reminds me of. It's kind of our puzzle. You know the puzzle boxes that you usually get? So yeah, so this is kind of cool. Just kind of open it like that, I think. There you go. And uh, oh, I did scratch the box a little bit, but whatever, it's a box, who cares? It's a nice box, uh, I will say this. This is a Chinese company, I believe, and they really, I'll tell you, the products that have been coming out of China have been really nice. Um, I did a toner, a mic comparison, uh, which was nice that they gave me, toner gave me some uh, nice stuff. So here we go, they got a little diagram here. It says USB-A to USB-C cable going into the computer. Uh, and then we have MIDI cable going into a keyboard. And then we have USB-A to USB-C into a phone. Okay. Um, yeah. So here we go. Oh. You know, it was, it was interesting. Uh, the Samurai said that it comes with a neoprene case, which is really cool because not many companies give you this. Nice cushion case. That's actually really nice. And here we have an instruction manual. Wow. Very detailed instruction manual with pictures, colored pictures. That's pretty cool right there. That's a bonus. And here it is. Oh, it's got some weight to it. Hmm. Very nice. It's got that nice smell. It does smell nice. It's nice new. Oh, it does smell nice. All right. Smells new. So there it is. Wow, they're not soft pads, but the Samurai was using it and it would look very nice purple color on the back too. I like that. Too bad the whole thing wasn't purple. That'd be cool. Um, they were very sensitive. So that's interesting to me. And what else we got? Oh, now let's see. We have a nice brightly colored USB-C to USB-A uh, cable, which is nice. And then we get a uh, USB-A to USB-C adapter. Oh, that's pretty cool too. All right. And then what I love is the fact that a company supplies you with the uh, five millimeter or 3.5 millimeter to, uh, to MIDI. I think that's awesome that they did that. That's really cool. So yeah, so let's put this back. And uh, check this, oh, let's get this in there. All right. Yeah, Sonido, maybe that's how you say it. Sonai, Sonai, Sonido, Sonido. I think that's how you say it, I'll put it right there. So yeah, so you get all this cool stuff with it. I'm gonna just zoom out a little. So you get all this cool stuff which I think is really cool that they do that. Um, and then, yeah, this is a strip right here. Um, and oh, okay, so here we go. So we've got USB-C. Uh, uh, this looks like a USB, oh, it's a DC volt adapter. Okay, so you can power it. It's got a Kensington lock on the back. Nice. It was really weird. I noticed the Samurai. Ah, well, what is this? That's either a power button. This looks like a microphone right here. If we can, that's the microphone right there. Interesting. So I wonder why you would actually put a microphone there. We need to read this manual. This looks very interesting. So yeah, so without further ado, we're gonna actually plug this into the DAW and uh, basically let's have some fun. Cool.
So, you know, I've been playing around with this thing. Um, I'm trying to get a feel for it. I know I have to download the software in order for it to play right. I mean, I am able to touch the pads and get some type of sound out of it. Right now I'm using the uh, Cherry Audio Juno 106 plugin, the DCO 106. Um, but as you can see in the shot here, So it's kind of cool because you can do stuff like this. I mean, you know, I got to get used to it. I got to play around with it some more. This is the first video I'm going to do with it. Uh, but right now, um, what I'm going to do is uh, download the software, see what it's like. And, you know, if it's cool, well, I think it's cool. I don't know. I'm a traditionalist, so when I do things, I do things with keyboards. Um, so this is kind of kind of different for me. I did have a launch pad, but I only use that really to control um, things like logic and, and stuff like that. I didn't use it as a, as a, to control instruments with. So, I mean, you know, I'm going to give it a shot, see what happens. Again, I'm going to download the software. Um, but, yeah. So if you like the video, you know, so let me know what you think. Um, I think it's kind of cool. I think it's, um, I think it's, uh, you know, I guess good for the money. It's, it definitely has a lot of features. I mean, you know, I'll just show you here. There's a drum feature on it. Um, I still haven't figured that out yet. But still programs, you still could touch the, the, the pads with that. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's cool. I love this little meter right here on the side. I really don't know what the heck that is for, actually. Um, I haven't read all the manual. I did read some of the manual. Um, we have... So it, it's cool, um, and it's super touch sensitive, by the way. I'm not really pounding very, very hot on these pads. I have it mounted to a little stand that I use for my laptop. I mean, my iPad and my, um, uh, it's like a laptop stand, I guess, but I use that for my iPad and my phone. Um, so yeah, I guess, I mean, it's cool. I don't know. I gotta play with it some more. Again, I'm a traditionalist. I play keyboards, I play guitar play other instruments so this is just another instrument that i can add to the onslaught but i will make another video using the software 
and maybe some hardware instruments like the synth samurai did. Um, but yeah, stay tuned, I guess. Uh, pretty cool.